let's get into some modern games, shall we? For all your modern heads. Um, my girlfriend actually got me for Christmas. Da -da -da. Assassin's Creed 2. The best game in the series, in my opinion. I had beaten this game with my buddies beforehand, but she gave me her copy for Christmas. And I love her. <laughs> I have a great, great retro gaming girlfriend. It's I have spoiled. A game I recently picked up, Midway Arcade, uh, Origin, Origins, not Origins, Origins. Very, very cool game. I finally, finally own a copy of, uh, <laughs> excuse me, only Defender 2, but I own Zybots now, Sinistar, which is a kick-ass game, and what was the other one? Um, Fighter, oh my god. That wasn't it. Uh, where is it? Rampart was another one. Uh, Rampart. Robotron 2084. I finally own a copy of that. I can actually use dual joysticks on the 360. Which doesn't... It's kind of finicky when you're shooting on uh, diagonals. Unfortunately, it's not 100% accurate. But, hey, it's the best I can do. I will definitely gladly, you know, hold on to that copy. And what my brother Retromat gave to me for Christmas. Assassin's Creed 3. My brother, my brother and I and my buddies are playing through this and we love it. He's got me a, a tin. And it's, uh, it's very, very cool. I really enjoy it. Even though, you know, we're, I made a joke and I keep bothering him about it. It pisses him off. But there's a slight dent. Can you see that right there? Right here. There's a slight dent in it. No big deal, but I keep kind of harassing him about it and he gets pissed off and it's hilarious. So yeah, Assassin's Creed 3, Xbox 360. Pretty damn good game. Not as good as number two, but damn good game in the series. Okay, so before I get on to my uh, last pickup, I actually uh, got the last copy of Nintendo Power Magazine, issue number 285. And this is a classic. There's a comic in the back. It's heart-wrenching. You know, I'll, I don't say tears are rolling up in my eyes, but it was pretty, it was pretty impactful. This is a Great magazine that's just, sadly, just bit the dust, unfortunately. <coughs> Excuse me. With the digital age and all that, I guess there's just no more room for these magazines, and that's quite a shame. So, yeah, the Nintendo Power final issue, I really, really enjoyed this. Okay. The big gift my girlfriend Natalie gave to me was this little puppy, and I did not expect this at all, and I am super psyched. And, you know, upon release last year, I was kind of scratching my head. I didn't know what to make of it, and I was like, you know what? I'm probably not going to get this thing ever in my life. I'm just going to pass on this. But it is the Nintendo 3DS, and it's the Teal Aqua Color Edition, whatever. And I love it. I fucking love it. So much so that I bought a few games. No case, no instructions for this, but Mario Kart 7. Mario Kart 7 needs no introduction. It's got a faithful online community. That's fucking hardcore. I love it. And you now I'm going to continue to have a lot of fun. Actually, uh, Natalie's got a copy as well. She has a 3DS. And so we're playing online against each other and she kicks my ass. Well, hardly kicks my ass. I thought I was a good Mario Kart player. I have nothing compared to her. At least not yet. Another game that I wanted for the online capabilities was Access. Tons and tons of party games. There's got to be at least 10 or 12 different versions of Tetris, not including the online with the items. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll just edit that part out. That's uh, very good. Kicks ass. Definitely pick it up because it's at Walmart for really cheap. Speaking of which, another game that's <coughs> absolutely hardcore. Shinobi. I picked this up at the cheap bin for 10 bucks. Don't let that fool you. Just because it's a cheap bin doesn't mean it's a crappy game. It's a very good game, and it's probably the toughest game I've played this decade. Uh, as far as, you know, modern day games go. Shinobi 3D. This game kicks your ass. This is kicking my ass. I haven't delved too deeply into it. But once I do, oh my god, I'm gonna have fits of rage. You've heard of Streets of Rage. I'm gonna have fits of rage. So yeah, Shinobi. Last, but certainly not least, and I'll actually show you some of the games that I've uh, downloaded on the 3DS. I'll just wait a bit. 
wait for you to come back. Okay, so here's some of the games I actually downloaded on the uh, eShop on the 3DS. So we have The Legend of Zelda on the NES, we have Bunch Out, we have Alleyway on the Game Boy, Burger Time Deluxe on the Game Boy, Kirby's Block Ball, which is awesome, Gargoyle's Quest, which is a phenomenal fucking game. It mixes platformers and uh, an RPG game. I highly recommend Gargoyle's Quest, as well as Bionic Commando which is a slightly different version of the NES game and just as great. It's even better than the uh, uh, Game Boy uh, Color game. Avenging Spirit, which is by Jellico, which is an underrated gem. If you guys haven't played Avenging Spirit, please do yourself a favor and do so. Kirby's Pinball Land, which is an awesome pinball game. Dragon's Fury is a good pinball game, so is Kirby's Pinball Land. Also, Twin Bee, which is a great shoot em up. As well as, and here is Game & Watch Donkey Kong Jr. Which is a stellar little game. I love the Game & Watch games. I grew up with them and I had to download this. It was under two bucks, you can't go wrong. And last, and certainly not least, Pushmo. Pushmo is a, just a great little puzzle game where you're pushing in and out blocks and you're trying to rescue the kids on top of the, uh, the Pushmo playground area. And uh, it gets pretty hardcore towards the end of the levels. So yeah, that's pretty much it for my 3DS eShop collection. I love the 3DS. So anyways, my last game that I bought on Unboxing Day, Code of Princess by Atlas, which is, like I've mentioned to you guys before, my one of my growing favorite game companies. <clears throat> these guys get it. These guys know what the fans want, and they give us fan service. And basically, you're this princess who's been kicked out of her kingdom and is trying to defeat this evil queen that's trying to take over the land, basically. She meets a lot of different friends along the way, different powers, and you recruit them. It's like, pretty much, uh, if you remember the game Guardian Heroes, it's side-scrolling beat-em-up with RPG-like, uh, with RPG-like, uh, flavor. Where you can level up your guy and you can gain different moves and things like that, and there's a lot to collect and a lot to get. I actually got the soundtrack with it. And, uh, soundtrack and art book. Here's the soundtrack, and this is the art book here. Yeah. It's very nice, very nicely done. Atlas, you guys give, you guys get the big thumbs up. So yeah, Go to Princess, awesome. And delving through all these games, they've beaten most of them, at least half of them. <coughs> Sorry again for the uh, sore throat. Man, winter is just kicking my ass. So I've got all these goodies to uh, keep me entertained until the new year. And so uh, I want to know, you guys, uh, let me know which which game was the pick of my bunch, which is the absolute stellar MVP. So I'd love to know, comment below, keep clicking on the like button, uh, subscribe if you can, and if you haven't, shame on you, because I'm, really, uh, I'm really trying my hardest to bring you good content. So uh, anyways, Max Impact 24 channel, I'm Will, until we meet again. <coughs>